So a lot of people have a really hard time when it comes to adjusting their loot tables. If you don't know what your loot table is, your loot table is basically what determines what is going to fall out of a container when you break open a barrel or when you go inside a box or whatever when you're looting the map. That loot table determines what's actually inside those containers. And we use plugins to adjust those loot tables. My personal favorite is Better Loot. Of course, there are options out there. You can use Magic Loot, which is another free option. And of course, you could also be using Alpha Loot from Chaos Code. All of these are really good at what they're doing. They do their job. But like I said, my personal favorite is Better Loot. It's free. It's from Umod and I might as well put a link to it in the video description down below because you are actually going to need Better Loot in order to be following along with this tutorial. But the subject matter of today's video is actually the tool that we're going to use in order to create that table that's going to be used by Better Loot. Hey everybody, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I teach you guys the very best tips and tricks to owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel, I do a lot of plugin reviews and tutorials to hopefully show you guys the different things that you can do on on your server to make you stand out from the crowds. So if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on. And of course, remember to turn on that notification bell so that you do get notified as soon as I upload a new video. I put out a brand new video every Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. All right, so here you go. This is what the new loot table configuration tool is going to look like. It, it already does look like this. This is it. You're looking right at it. It's live, it's available, and anyone can be using this right now. And if you want to use this tool, you can access it by going to Lootify, dot co dot uk don't worry i'll put a link to it in the video description down below but before we can get started on actually using this i want to show you guys something very very important if you want to just hop right in and get started on this you can of course start creating your own loot table but what i suggest you do is actually import your default better loot table from your server as it stands right now maybe you've already done some work on your loot tables maybe you're just using the default loot table in either case i want you to start with whatever your loot table is currently at right now so for today's example let's pretend like I've never used better loot before this is the first time I'm installing it I'm actually going to download it right now don't worry about this orange bar at the top there where it says better loot is not being maintained by anybody I know that one of my one of the developers that I work with on a regular basis is going to pick up this plugin and even though it says that it's not maintained right now there are still ways for the developers to be patching this plugin so that it's going to continue working this orange bar just basically means that there's nobody actually responsible for it right now so let me just install better loot real quick here so that the plugin will automatically generate me a default loot table to start out with and as you can see there better loot was successfully installed and blah 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 it has created the default loot table for me so if we go into our file manager here we can go into the the data folder and now we have a better loot folder where we didn't have one before and this is the file right here that we want to be dealing with so if you're working on a hosted server such as icehost.com you want to actually download this file to your personal pc and then re-upload it into the lootify website if you're using a dedicated server or a local hosting server or whatever you already have direct access to this file you don't necessarily have to download it from anything you already have the file on your local network so let's just download this loot table it's going to go direct into my downloads folder onto my personal PC. All right, that's good. I have that. And then we can hop back over to the Lutify website. So now what I'm going to do with that file, I know that I have it in my downloads folder. You need to remember where you've put yours. Hopefully it's just in your downloads folder. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to load that configuration file into this website right here. So we click on the load configuration button in the top left hand corner, and it's going to prompt us to enter in a file. So of course, we're just going to navigate to the downloads folder. And there's the loot table file that I just downloaded from my ice host server. So we can just upload that. There we go. And it just grabs all that information and gives us a starting off point so that we can now adjust everything on the loot table. As you can see here by this icon, we're currently working on the locked crate. And these are all of the different items that could potentially be spawned inside of that locked crate. If we wanted to add an item that's not currently in there right now, we just need to find it on the list on the left hand side here. And we can just drag and drop it into that loot table. And we can do that for every single different type of loot container within the game you just click on swap containers right here and we can change to whatever container you want to be working with and yes as you can see here the underwater labs loot tables are available so you can edit those in here as well so as you can see here underwater labs crate underwater labs crate 2 etc etc i know that's been one of the things that the community has been worried about is how do we actually edit what's in the underwater lab crates now to be totally honest with you i don't know if that's because we started out with the default better loot table 
and that was already there being that better loot had generated those loot tables for us or if basil's website is actually doing the work for us allowing us to create those containers i'm not sure which i just know that it does work so if you're wondering how you can adjust the loot tables for your underwater labs loot containers this will allow you to do that so once we actually have all of those items that we want to appear in that container we of course can adjust the quantities of each one of those items so just click on one of the items it doesn't matter which one and in the top here you can adjust the minimum amount and the maximum amount that is potentially going to spawn in that container and yes you still have the ability of making these blueprints they don't actually have to be the items themselves provided of course that there's a blueprint associated with that item because not all items are blueprintable it also has the ability of changing how many stacks of items are going to appear in that container if we click on the container button right here it's going to take you to the section that's actually just dealing with the container itself not necessarily the loot that's inside of it so as you can see here this crate that I'm working on right now the minimum items is four the maximum item is four max blueprints is one and then scrap is set to zero you can change these to whatever you want now obviously you have limitations but so for example we can change this to let's say six and we can make the maximum items 10 in this container and we can give out 250 scrap or whatever it is that you want it to be once you're actually satisfied with your loot table and you're done and you want to re-upload it back to your server you want to click on save config this big green button at the top of the screen right here this is actually going to export this configuration file that we can and then upload back to our server, reload better loot. It's gonna grab all that new information and then we're gonna be working on our new loot table. So now that I've clicked on the save config button, you can see in my downloads folder, I actually have two files. One is just loot table, the other one is loot table one, which means I now have a duplicate file and I have to make sure that I'm using the right one. So because we know loot tables was the first one that was put in this folder, it's now the one that we've edited and now exported out of Lootify and exported it as loot tables with the one in the brackets. So let's actually just delete this file right here the original one that we no longer need anymore let's rename this file right here we're just going to make it loot tables like it's supposed to be from default and then of course we can go back to our file manager for our server and we just simply need to upload that file back here if there is one already currently there it's just going to automatically overwrite that one anyways and then we go into our console and we obviously reload the plugin o.reload better loot it's going to grab that configuration file that we've now re-uploaded back to our server and now our server is going to be using our new loot table so that's the new loot table configuration tool brought to you by basil and techno i'm sure you've seen their names around the community because they're very talented at what they're doing they set out to create a tool for us that makes adjusting our loot tables super easy and super graphical obviously as you can see right here it's about as simple as you can possibly get it this is a very powerful tool they've done a really good job the fine tuning is is definitely right up there i do know that they're working on a couple of other features for this tool one of which which i'm actually super excited to see is the loot container viewer so i'm assuming we're actually going to be able to see maybe hopefully a picture of what it looks like inside of that loot container and then how all of these items are going to be placed out just to give you a better representation from the tool as opposed to actually having to load the file go in game find that loot container and see what it actually looks like see what the real world view of that loot container is going to be like for our players so just remember the address is lootify.co.uk like i said before i did put a link to it in the video description down below so you can just grab it from there directly and if you happen to see basil or techno out in the real world make sure you say hi make sure you say thank you for creating us this great tool to make our lives so much easier when creating our loot table Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Again, I put out a brand new video every Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So until then, I hope you're staying safe and taking care of each other. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next week.